కూర్చొని సో ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ఐ థింక్ ద లెస్ అటెండెన్స్ ఇస్ బికాస్ ద ఆఫ్టర్ మ్యాథ్ ఆఫ్ ఎస్టర్డేస్ పార్టీ ఐ థింక్ విచ్ హ్యాపన్ టిల్ త్రీ ఓ క్లాక్ సో వీ ఆర్ వెయిటెడ్ ఇన్ఆఫ్ ఐ థింక్ ప్లేనర్ ఈ స్టిల్ ఇన్ సెషన్ బట్ ఐ థింక్ వీ షుడ్ స్టార్ట్ బికాస్ ఐ థింక్ ఆర్ చీఫ్ గెస్ట్ అండ్ సమ్ గెస్ట్ హ్యావ్ టు లీవ్ అర్లీ సో టూరిజం ఈజ్ అ స్పేస్ వెచ్ ఈస్ రీసెంట్లీ ఇన్ న్యూస్ ఫ్రామ్ డిఫరెంట్ గవర్నమెంట్ సోర్సెస్ అండ్ గవర్నమెంట్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్స్ ఎకానమీ అండ్ ద విజన్ వేరియస్ విజన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్పిఎం ఆఫీస్ ఈస్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ దిస్ పర్టికులర్ వర్టికల్ దిస్ ఈస్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద లెగ్స్ ఆఫ్ దోస్ పర్టికులర్ పర్టికులర్ విజన్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ టూరిజం ఇన్ ద కంటెక్స్ ఆఫ్ ట్రేడ్ యు నో ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇంపారేటివ్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఎన్ ఇన్విజిబుల్ ట్రేడ్ the importance of tourism is very intangible through its various arms like entertainment recreation transportation professional services communication construction infrastructure and so and so so forth tourism is an export industry because foreign investors who travel to a country purchase the touristic experiences of the country and because it is tangible good India's rising middle class and increasingly increasing disposable income has supported the growth of domestic and outbound outbound tourism. Growth drivers in this tourism is infrastructure, growing demand, policy support and rising FDIs. Tourism in India accounts for 9.6% of GDP and is third largest foreign exchange earner of the country. India was globally the third largest in terms of investments in travel and tourism with a inflow of approximately 45.7 billion dollars in 2018 which accounted for 5.9% of the total investment in the country in 2020 the indian tourism industry sector accounted for 39 million jobs which was around 9.3% of total employment in the country that also means all of us architects suppliers contractors engineers are going to get 10% of our projects are coming from this particular industry so you really have to take it very seriously in next 5 years the travel market is expected to double in size and reach around 40 million dollars due to improving airport structures and growing access to passports e tourist visas launched by government of india have resulted in increase in number of tourist visas issued in the country with arrivals through e visa increasing 59% year on year government also launched ayush visa to promote medical tourism in the industry the widespread practice of ayurveda yoga siddha naturopathy that is contemplated by national spiritual philosophy makes india a famous wellness destination the launch of several branding and marketing initiatives by the government of india such as incredible india atithi devo bhava provides a focus impetus to this particular growth as a fraternity it becomes very important for us to not to ignore this particular industry though our thought process always gets limited to hotels or something like that some tourist spots and all those things but there are more than 20 tourist uh, concepts which are prevailing very actively prevailing in the market today and the latest uh, uh, the policies created last week by uh, government of tourism government of india has speculated what kind of growth and what kind of investments uh, central government of india is ready to give to various states with this there are various uh, projects like museums science centers everything the whole approach has become very holistic for this particular industry pan india so with us we have very eminent speakers today who are in forefront in recognizing such opportunities not only for the country for the city for themselves and for the architectural fraternity one of such uh, great personalities we have is mr haryani architect jayesh haryani has served the building and design industry for over 30 years specializing in architecture and planning combining city planning urban design architecture interior architecture and mixed use real estate development that are based on sustainability Mr Haryani has worked in Europe, USA, UAE and Asia. As a founder and chairman of INI, he is instrumental in forming and delivering research driven large multi-use developments that are driven by good planning, architecture, technology and sustainable principles. His work has won many recognized international and national awards including FAIA honor from American Institute of Architects. He has also held teaching positions at Carnegie Mellon University, University of Texas, 
and has served as director and principal of architecture and planning school of Ganpat University and is board of advisory for Nirma University uh, School of Architecture and Planning. He has presented in several known and international conferences and he is a very, very valuable uh, asset to our fraternity of IGBC where his contribution is fabulous. I request architect Jayesh Shahrani to come and share his experiences in this field of tourism and what his thought processes. Thank you.